Hey guys, it's Xander Genere for Red Carpet Report. I'm here at the Sense8 finale. Uh, Red Carpet, there's going to be the stars of Sense8 walking in. Uh, they're going to see the finale for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm a huge fan of the series. Well, let's just get right to the interviews. We'll see you there. Yeah. Hello. This is Casual Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Later. <laughs> for the party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so what was it like slipping back into this character? And was there kind of like a dark cloud knowing this would be the last time? It was definitely bittersweet. And, you know, getting to do Will was, uh, it was really fun because I think in the, in the finale, Will is just, he's found his groove. He knows exactly who he is now. He's... He's uh, buried a lot of the demons, and he's sort of the person that's trying to help this cluster survive and, and make it to the next chapter, whatever that might be. It's, yeah. It was great. Well, that's kind of been his arc throughout this whole storyline. Yes, yeah, and it's great to see, you know, Alon is always about finding endings that empower the characters, and that was a pretty big task of the show. And it was, you know, you may not really know it until you think about it later, but Will really, he's, he's his best self in the finale. Um, and and I, I found that really touching, actually. It was fun to play. Oh, awesome. And then you guys got to travel all over the world. Do you have any uh, moments that stood out to you, either by the location or by the parties or filming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we, do, we do sort of mark... You know what we did, like based on where the parties were. Like, like, do you remember? Do you remember like the rap party in Iceland? Oh my God! With that, that one was for the books. But then the rap party in Berlin was like, uh, um, no. So you know, I'm still processing it. To be honest with you, I wish I could pick out a moment that just kind of nailed the whole situation for me. But I still don't know yet. It's it's still it's still happening. We'll make more memories tonight, and uh, and these are people that are going to be. We're going to be a part of each other's lives forever, and um, this is just so great that we get to be here and celebrate that, you know? Well, and then this is Pride Month, too, and this series is so important to the LGBT community. Uh, why do you think that is, from like the story perspective or from an acting perspective, that it resonates so much? I think it's, it's, the, it's the show feels queer. The show is not cool. It's not, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's this sort of odd beautiful baby that just insists on being itself no matter what and I think that's a message to people that if you speak your truth and you make things that you think are beautiful you're 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 gonna find some people to touch and uh, and I and I understand why why the LGBTQ community sort of latched onto this so much because it just is about no matter what people say you just show up with love and be yourself and and it's gonna turn out okay for you, I think. I mean, it's a little softy wafty, no, but, but <laughs> yes, it's very downy, it's very yeah. downy, very good. Oh, well, well, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, click the like button and leave a comment down below.